you. Here we go. You know, now that I've got the whole, you know, welcoming the new boy into the, you know, into the arena, I actually did have something else I wanted to talk about. But, you know, rather than take away the spotlight from the new kid, I figured I'd take this opportunity to talk right now. And let's just talk about Beach Brawl. See, Beach Brawl, without any uncertain terms, has definitely been a huge success for the VWE. Now, not only did we get new champions at Beach Brawl, a new dawn, a new era, we signed the hottest talent in the professional wrestling world today, including the hottest free agent who happens to be in the crowd right now, Trey Steele. <laughs> that, my fans, was not a move by the former CEO, no, that is all Stuart War. See, not only did that, we got rid of the scourge of VWE, Mr. Cameron. Oh, and yeah, 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 he's in the crowd as well. Oh, that's, that's funny. Are you just a civilian now? <laughs> uh, see, now that the crap is gone from VWE and I have 100% ownership over this place once again, 100% control. Things are on the up. Business is looking good. And now it's almost an upwards to wrestle series 10. And for. Uh, security! Get. Well, it looks like the Eliminator is. The Eliminator is making his way into the ring. Security! I don't think this is what Stewart had in mind. I think somebody gave the security, told the security to take a coffee and donut break. Give, give you, to, give you two minutes. Why should I give you two goddamn minutes? Well, he did say please. In this ring. Well, it looks like we're going to hear from the former CEO. He is the Eliminator, Seth Cameron. He is here tonight. Says two minutes is all he asks. Then if you want me gone, I'll leave for good. You know, you know, I am a benevolent man. Go on. Let's see what you've got to say. This will be good. Well, it appears that Seth is going to get his two minutes. We've got the former CEO and the chairman of the board standing face to face in the ring. Thanks. Look, just two minutes, like I said, that's all I'm asking for. I, I've obviously had some time to sit there and think about things, what's happened before Beach Brawl, and I, I, I have to apologize for my actions. What I did to the two superstars that got a shot in the face by me, that was wrong. I wasn't exactly the CEO that everybody expected of me, the businessman that everybody expected of me. I appreciate you giving me two minutes because, Stu, the fact is, I... It's just not the same not being here. I have... For the better part of nine years, off and on, bled, sweat, worked my ass off here in terms of business, in terms of wrestling, in terms of all different 
avenues. I have worked very hard because this place is important to me. The VWE is important to me. And I know that the board of directors had a good decision to turn around and decide to remove me. And I accept that. I, d I do. But I'm asking you. In fact, I'm not asking you. I am begging you. Give me an opportunity here in some fashion. What, whatever, whatever you can give me, I'll take. I don't care if I have to sweep the floor back there. I don't care if I have to set the ring up every day. This, I, this is important to me, Stu. I worked hard to come back to this place, and I understand I, I made mistakes, and I apologize to you specifically. I made mistakes. And I'm just asking for an opportunity, a chance. If you would just give me a chance. I gotta tell you, this is not what we expected <laughs> from Seth Cameron. You want you want me to give give you a chance? Yeah, you 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 really want me to give you a chance? You know, I, I have to admit. I didn't think you had it in you, Seth. It takes a lot of guts to, you know, step into the ring and admit that you're wrong. I, I absolutely res, don't know if I say respect, but you know, I I appreciate you coming into my ring and making this statement. And you know what, Seth? Let me let me think on. Let me, let me think on it. Should should. Should should have given Seth another chance. Do you guys think I should give Seth Cameron another chance? Do you want me to give this man a chance? Huh? I'd say it's pretty unanimous. Well, yeah. You know what? I you know what? I am a man of the people. So you know what, Seth? Hey, you know you know what? Guess what? No! Oh my goodness! Now, if you don't mind, get the hell out of my ring. Don't ever come back to this place. Ta ta for now. Oh my God! Talk about kicking a man when he's down. All right, all right. Okay. Oh! Come on, um, na 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 na. Nah, wait, wait, nah, wait, nah, wait, nah. wait, 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 before you go further, that was a lot of fun for me, because seeing your reaction on your face is just priceless when you actually think that you can step me out the door. By the way, Stu, one thing that obviously you don't remember, hang on, let me pull this out of my pocket real quick. What's he oh, got it's, there? It's it's it doesn't want to come out of my pocket. Hold on, hold on. Let me get it. I've got it. I've got it. Can you tell what he has? Because I certainly can't. So no. you see this piece of paper that's in my hand here. That, it's not a ultimate creative control contract. It's not a pink slip. It actually is a VWE superstar contract. Oh, yeah. A year and a half ago, you signed a contract with me stating I am a VWE wrestler. I am a VWE superstar. And what's beautiful, Stu, is even though I've been terminated as the CEO, I still have a contract to wrestle here. So if I can't put a fork in your plan as the CEO, then I'm just going to make your life a living hell in the middle of this ring and make sure that from now to Wrestle Series, every plan that you have is failed. 
because I will be the motherfucking roadblock stopping you. Now that's what well, I'm talking then. about right there, the Eliminator Seth Cameron, back where he belongs as an oh, active yeah. VWE competitor. Oh, I not only think that, but I know that. And by the way, you know what, uh, Stu, when it when push comes to shove, well, you know what, I had so much fun at Beach Brawl. Why don't we go ahead and do it again, huh? Oh, look at this! Oh, wait a minute! Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got company. As we've got David Hawk Gacker, the icon coming in. Oh, look like trying for that. Not my problem. Ducking underneath the clothesline, though, from the Eliminator. And it looks oh, like good. He's he's got that ego trip locked in. Oh my goodness! Just and plants plants him face first, right in the canvas. And Stu makes his way to the back like the coward he is. Well, Stu is a very smart man. He knew when to get out of Dodge. He knew just the right moment. And DHA gave him that opportunity. Oh, 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 Seth! Oh my God, you just made my day! Oh man, see, weeks ago, you came out here, super kicked me in the face! And I let you get away with it. I let you get away with it because you were the CEO. But oh my god, can you imagine the people in the back who are now excited that not only are you not CEO, no baby, you got a contract! That means we can get our hands on you legally! And when you leave the VWE this time, as assuredly you will, it's not going to be your ego that takes you out the door. It's not going to be Seth Cameron walking away on his own. It's going to be us, the talent that are here all the time. Not just nine years off and on. It's those of us that are here every week fighting for our spots that are going to send you out the door permanently. Well, I believe in my heart that DHA just made a huge mistake right there because there is going to be a day of reckoning. There's going to be a day for these two to meet in the center of this ring. It will be the Eliminator Seth Cameron. It will be the icon DHA. And that's a match I hope I'm here to see. Well, I mean, you look at it as he's crying. You know, he, he's sitting here crying. He was just crying. And I hope he has a therapy session 